sterling would be sterling. Oh, well, these are sterling. What's going on everybody? I appreciate y'all for tuning in. If you've been watching the channel for a little while, you've seen I had went to Vegas in December. And while we was out there, we went to some yard sales. So this is one thing that we found out there while we was yard selling in Vegas. Damn, that's a weird looking helmet. It's like a space helmet. I think I could bring this back. <laughs> you could wear it on your head to the airport. Okay. <laughs> Here you go. Thank you. All right, thank you. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. Man, I, don't, I typically don't buy helmets, but this is a weird helmet. It goes for a lot. It does? Oh, well, yeah. But normally, helmets don't sell really, but this one's just weird, so. That's what you got to look for the more weird and unusual stuff. So, as you can see, I only paid $5 for the helmet. Ended up getting it back home. So we put it online. I put it on right when I got back in December. So it's set on eBay since then. And it just sold for $250. So $5 in it, sold for $250. We're going to pack it up and ship it. Should wrap it up on some of this paper. So we got it all packed up, ready to go. We bought it for $5, sold it for $250. There was $30 in fees. It was like $16 to ship. And then minus what we paid for it, after all that, we still profit $200. Oh, Good morning, how you doing? I'm all right. How much are these? Uh, 15 for both. Is a heater? Yes. How much is this? Five. Five. And this one? Bunch of old woodworking tools. Just the one piece? No, <laughs> There's a lot of them. Yeah. 20 bucks for both boxes. Okay. I'll take all the stuff with it. Okay. okay. are sterling.
How much for the the boxes of uh, silverware and stuff? Thank you very much. Uh, let's see. I think I was asking 40 for bo both boxes. 40 for both? What about you do 20 for one then? Sure. Do that. There's a nice salad bowl that you can yeah. too. <laughs> okay. Oh. Oh, thanks, sir. Thank you. All right, thank you. Have a nice day. You bet. Jackpot. So I wanted to stop the video for a minute, show what I bought, and also talk about what I bought and the interaction of me actually buying it. So when I walked up to the cell, you can see on that first table, there was a ton of silverware, flatware laid out, and people were going through it. I looked through a couple pieces. I didn't see nothing on that table that was sterling, and I assume the couple was also looking for it, didn't see any. And then later on in the video, there was another lady there digging through it. And she was asking about the price. And basically, he was doing like $20 a box trying to get rid of it. So when I came across the sterling box, you know, I was surprised because there was nothing else there that was sterling. Even some stuff in that box that I bought wasn't sterling. So I've been doing YouTube long enough to know that buys like this are, you know, controversial in the comment section, which you can comment what you want. I really don't mind, but I did want to talk about it. So... The guy asked me for $20, so I gave him the $20. You know, if, in my opinion, if he would have brought it out from his house and I asked him, hey, do you have this and this, then, you know, $20 would be, you know, an outrageous offer to somebody. But if that's what he's asking, that's what I'm going to pay him. In my opinion, it's not my job to, you know, go to every single yard sale and make sure people are pricing their stuff right or, you know, tell them this or that, you know. That's not my job, and that's one reason, you know, People go to yard sales and people look for the treasure hunts and that kind of thing. So when I started my channel, I said I was going to stick to, you know, showing people how to make money because that's why I started the channel. Not do stuff for clicks and likes, which would be, you know, paying somebody way more than they ask for something. And then transparency. So, you know, I have people that say all the time, you, you Florida has the best yard sales. Wherever you're at, they we don't have yard sales like that. Well, people don't see the... You know, might buy something one out of every 15 yard sales I go to or something like that. Or every, my dad might go to 20, 10, 15. He might not buy but one thing. So it's just, you know, out, you know, pounding the pavement, pounding the sales, however you want to call it, to keep going, keep going to find stuff like that. So that's just my opinion. You know, if you want to go around the yard sales and pay people more than they're asking for stuff, then that's fine too. That's on you. But, you know, this is how I do it. And... You know, that's how I said I was always going to do it from the beginning of me starting this channel. So right here, this is all the stuff that was in there that's not actually sterling. Most of the time, it's going to say, like, silver plate. See, it's got the plate at the end of it. About 99% of the time, stuff's going to be stamped sterling. So none of this right here was any good. And this was the stuff in here that was actually sterling. So it was 1,586 grams, I think it was, and it came up to like $1,169 in silver at today's market. So, so like I said, it's going to be stamped. See that raised letter sterling right there? Is how it's going to look 99% of the time. You know, if you find some of the really old stuff, then yeah, it might have some kind of marking, but most of the stuff I find, when I find it, it's going to be stamped sterling. So. This was a whole set. So the knives I actually didn't weigh as part of the 1,586 grams because this part right here isn't sterling. This is stainless. And then if you've ever dealt with this, this is just a shell basically. When you bust these open, it's got like a plaster inside of it. So they don't weigh much at all really in silver, maybe a few dollars, but that's it. And then there was some miscellaneous pieces like these little spoons and stuff that was in there. But for the most part, it's a whole set. So I don't like to harp too much on these things. And I know when, you know, when I started putting my life out there on social, on the internet, people were going to have their opinions. And that's fine also. But like I've always said, 
If you don't like it, there's always a ton of other resale channels you can go watch. Yeah, and she looked it up this morning. She goes, noon, and we're like, noon, noon to four. You guys have to go garage sale. Yeah. Ah, now we know. So, yeah, we do so good on garage sales that we just decided when we go hey, over. Just like we do. That guy's kind of crazy, but but, oh, yeah. but I do. Yeah, but we buy storage units and stuff. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, we want to bring you guys some. But uh, when you buy, of course, when you buy anything new. Oh, of course. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, that's yeah. just yeah. what we started doing. I own a pawn shop in Michigan. So. Oh, did you? Yeah. yeah. Okay. He's got the shop, and I've got a. Oh, mine. you you have a shop? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, like cool. I said, we've learned a lot from you guys. Yeah. We've learned yeah. a ton. <laughs> well, we just started. The, we got into this maybe maybe five years ago, four four to five years ago. Nineteen in nineteen, right before the pandemic crap hit. Oh. And then and then we uh so that kind of slowed us way down for like the first year and a half, two years. Hey, hey, how you doing? What's up, man? How's it going? We're back, or we're coming down from Michigan. We figured uh, we'd uh, stop by and watch all your videos, man. Appreciate yeah. it. Appreciate yeah. it. That's yeah, cool. You said they only drove an hour and a half out of the way to get. <laughs> yeah, we're going down to Miami to get on our cruise. So okay, okay. We're, we're gonna like you. What cruise? Brought you some stuff. Like, uh, the Magic. He brought a really yeah, nice watch and another watch, and, uh, another no, watch and I brought you yeah. some yeah. generics. Carnival's good, man. S s hang out by uh, Guy's Burgers. That's some of the best burgers you'll ever eat. Oh, that's, yeah, yeah, that's what he was saying. Susan Guys, burgers, burgers, we eat them every day. Every oh. day, and sometimes twice a day. What ship are y'all going on, do you know? Magic. Magic. We Terminal. just went on Paradise. Paradise, Paradise yeah. Tampa. yeah. And the celebrations in Miami, too. Heck, yeah. But I, I just started. Oh. I just oh. put my backpack in them and I just kind of started a little. Yeah. But, uh, or you just said just generic. Just spot. Spot. Yeah. You got Should oh. be 300. Like I was telling your dad, I got a pawn shop up in Michigan. I do this stuff every day. I'm oh, like, I'm going to bring them down my generics. Hell oh, yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah, we had to bring you some because, you know, you do. We just walk in the door. And, oh, yeah. You know, we can't oh, buy anything because we got so much packed in the car. So oh, it's yeah. like, how, how is it up there? <laughs> Few and far in between. And it's smart. It's a shop. The car industry. Day, but dude, it's getting slammed hard. We you got cars there? parked all over. I'm the sorry, industry? Car. The auto car industry? Car. You guys do that too? No, oh, no, no. no, no. That's just that. what, that's what I mean, moves gold, Detroit. Silver, uh, and like and when it's, stuff. you know, so right now the they're shutting down. The they've got vehicles sitting all over. They can't sell them. There's just the inventory right now. If you want to buy a car, buy it now. <laughs> Don't buy it six months ago. How's so, the how's fall business doing? Not bad. A lot more people are bringing stuff in than actually buying stuff, but I'm getting some weird stuff in. Like yeah. a couple months ago, a lady w used to work up at the uh, Michigan University for the science department. Yep. She brought me a human rib from 1943. I actually had to call the Oakland Police Department to come out. They had to do transfer paperwork. And yeah, now I'm the proud owner of a human rib. <laughs> That's really? crazy. They brought this too. I, you know, if you watch the channel, that we don't do much with watches. It is like a high end thing. It's JoJo. Look on. Um, yeah. Look on eBay. I don't. I don't know what you want for it, but we just don't do much on watches unless they're like Rolex, Breitling, Omega, something like that. Yeah, they're just tough to sell for us. He we, he did find that one Omega in the storage unit, but the band was all like the face was scratched up. I was like, matter. oh sometimes, man, it doesn't matter. Sometimes did I you have it checked out. Or yeah, or yeah. yeah. Oh, it, it was all confirmed. It's sitting yeah. in his we, safe yeah, right we, now. Yeah, when we left, they said twenty two straight hours. If you went straight right to Miami, uh, and I like, drove oh, all the way here. Oh yeah, yeah. from Michigan. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we just ran into it the other day. Yeah. 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 Yeah
I guess I just got one book. Huh? I guess I just have one book. Oh, wow. Yeah. Jeez, that's pathetic. I know. <laughs> I can't find anything else. All right, one dollar. Okay. There you go. Perfect. All right. Give me a dollar, yay. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, I can't thank y'all enough. Andrew, Scott, stop by. Anybody that's ever stopped by just to say hello. Anybody that's sold me anything. All the people that made the positive comments, share the channel. I appreciate y'all so much. I know sometimes I go in on the other side, but I think it's just my competitive nature. But I can't thank y'all enough, man. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you're new to the channel and this is your first video, I threw out a 50,000 subscriber uh, giveaway. So once we hit 50K, we're going to give away this one ounce gold buffalo. And we are moving along pretty good. So if you're not subscribed and you enjoy the content, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So I appreciate y'all as always. Can't thank y'all enough. And I'll see y'all Friday.